Hi and welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a Fire Stick app that you're likely to see some YouTubers review in the days and weeks to come. Perhaps not because it's a great new app, but possibly because the app developer is offering big money for a review video. Now, as you might expect, I get hundreds of emails from people wanting me to do review videos of this, that, and the other. I received this email last week. Right in the subject of his email, he's offering hundreds of dollars for a review of this advanced Fire TV cleaner app that significantly frees up storage and memory, yada, yada, yada. In this first email, he didn't say the name of the app, so I assumed it must be that one-click super cleaner app that Tech Doctor UK debunked a few months ago. Nope. This turned out to be a brand new, like literally weeks old app called Clean Shark. So in today's video, I'm going to put this app to the test to see if it does what it says. Unlike this video that you might stumble across, I'm going to record before data to see exactly what this app does or doesn't do and let you decide for yourself. Spoiler alert, I didn't accept any money from this developer to make this video. And when you see how it works or it doesn't work, the reason for this might become evident. So if you're ready to see this amazing one-click fix app for your Amazon Fire Stick in action, for better or for worse, sit back, relax, and let's go. All right, so once again, the name of this app is called Clean Shark. It says to revitalize your Fire Stick with Clean Shark, the ultimate cleaner and booster tool designed to enhance your device's performance. It clears unnecessary cache, frees up storage. It's user-friendly, interface simplifies device maintenance, blah, blah, blah. And if you go down to the info, it says that it was originally released on February 13th, a month and change ago, and updated just last month, a month later. I am going to go ahead and install it. Before I run the program, I want to actually take a before snapshot of the storage I have available and also the cache on a number of apps um, that's here. This is supposed to clean up storage space and it's also supposed to clear up a bunch of cache. So let's move over to the gear and we'll go down into applications because that's a good spot to show this info. I'm gonna jot this information down. I'm actually gonna put it on the screen and I'm gonna keep it there. I have on my Fire Stick 4K Max second gen, I have 8.71 gigabytes available. And if I go into a couple of these apps, let's just, we'll pick a few at random. I know, okay, so Downloader has 24.41 megabytes of cache. Um, Freevee has 32.77. And let's just pick one more. Uh, Cody has 87.79 megabytes of cache taken up. So basically, we're at pretty close to 150 megs of cache being taken up. And I have 8.71 gigs available. So now let's hit the home button. So I've added Clean Shark to my favorites bar here, so it's easy to open. Let's go ahead and open it up now that we have our before pictures. Wow, this is interesting. This is a huge, huge disclaimer that apparently you must accept. You can read this. I'm, I did read a little bit of it, and it kind of scared me, to be honest. So, so I'm going to go ahead and hit accept here. It says device cleaning initialized, and basically I can hit that start cleaning button whenever I'm ready. So let's do that. Let's see what it does. Um, also, it says that, let me get myself out of the way here. There's a permission it needed. It says allow Clean Shark to access photos and media on your device. Okay, we're going to have to do that, I suppose. It wants media. And apparently this isn't enough. It's not only allow access to media files, because I tried this. When you go back, you have to pick all files. So you have to give it access to all the files on your device. That's a little scary. So let's go ahead and click the clean button and let's watch what happens. So it's a pretty impressive screen. It's going through a bunch of gyrations. I'm not going to, you know, fast forward or pause or cut anything here. I'm going to let this roll. Let it do what it wants, and then I'm going to immediately go to um, the settings again and see how much space I have available, what it's done. It says, here's a detailed list of the files we've cleaned up. 
doesn't really give you a lot of detail here. It looks like sort of a looping list of stuff that it says it's done or optimized. It doesn't give me any data as far as how much it's freed up and so on. But let's go ahead and close the app. And let's go over back to our info here. Go down to applications and go into manage installed applications. We still have exactly the same amount of space, 8.71 gigs are available. Let me go in here. Let's look at downloader. We have the same 24.41 megabytes in our cache. We go down to freebie. We still have the exact same 32.77 kilobytes of cache taken up on there. And in Kodi, we have exactly the same 87.79 megabytes in cash on there as well. So this app does nothing. All right, so if that little demonstration wasn't enough to steer you away from this app, let me try this. I'm sure some of you have seen some of my videos when I talk about VirusTotal. This is a very useful website for checking your APK files, your installation files for apps. And here, what I've done is I've just basically extracted that Clean Shark app from my Fire Stick uh, onto USB uh, using the OTG cable, as I've shown you how to do on a bunch of videos in the past. Um, here, I'm at the Virus Total website. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this Clean Shark app right into here and see what happens. As you can see, it's being flagged for three potential vulnerabilities. Now, some people will say that, you know, a couple, two or three flags um, out of the 60 something that it scans for is, you know, like a false positive. But this on top of the fact that this app really doesn't do anything, as I just showed you, I think we can come to the conclusion that we probably shouldn't use this app. What do you think? Now, I do want to be fair here to the gentleman who reached out to me, the developer of this app. He and I exchanged a number of emails, you know, that first day when we talked about uh, the app and he told me about it and so on. After a couple of days, I had a chance to fully test it out. I had all of these issues that I had to share with him. I did email him and, you know, give him the chance to explain. But as of the recording of this video, he has not responded. If that does change and he gets back to me and somehow I've got this wrong and the app does do things that I haven't been able to see, I will surely come back here and let you all know about it. So the point of this video was basically to show you uh, that here at Cord Cutters LI, at least, I try very hard to, you know, test things out before I come and bring them to your attention uh, and suggest or recommend that you try them. Whether it's a free app, like in this case, or if it's a streaming device, or any other kind of technology that I review here at Cord Cutters LI, you can always rest assured here, I don't mind spending or wasting some time checking out some of this stuff to save you from having to do it. In this case, I've taken a couple of hours trying this on two or three different Fire TV devices. It didn't work on any of them. Now, I'm not going to flat out tell you don't use this app, although I'm not sure why you would. This is a decision that you need to make for yourself. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters LI videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.